Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about maps in Java, and more specifically, how you can put multiple values per key in a Java map, which is something you really can't do with a standard collections API. So how do we fix this problem that Java does not allow you to have multiple values per key? Well, I'll show you a couple of strategies. I'm gonna create a new class called multiple values per key. And it's going to have a little main method where I'm just going to write a little bit of code and test some things out here. So I just want to actually kind of frame the problem. And the problem is if you've got a hash map like this, I might as well organize my imports because it's not going to like that hash map. There we go. If you've got a hash map like this, you want to keep track of some of your favorite Halo cars. How would you do that? Well, maybe, you know, we've got the Ford GT, which is one of my favorite Halo cars of all time. And of course, one of my other favorite Halo cars is the Dodge Viper. Everybody loves the Dodge Viper. And, you know, they're coming out with this Mustang Mach-E as well, which is going to crap all over the Mustang heritage by creating an SUV with the Mustang name. But who knows, maybe that electrical SUV with the Mustang name will be a Halo car as well. Um, and so all this code compiles, but I mean, what happens if we actually try and gain access to that Ford property, system.out.println halo cars? Well, if I run this as a Java application, you'll see that the Ford GT has disappeared and has been replaced by the Mustang Mach-E. And I'm telling you, nobody but nobody is going to be happy about that. So how can you get around that? I'm just going to comment out that code just so uh, source toggle comment on that. Moving on, how can we get away? Uh, how can we get around this limitation? Well, I'll tell you what one clever trick is. It's this right here. What you do is you end up creating a map. I'll do a organize imports there and import all of those things. I'm just going to import everything from java.util because that's what I'm going to be using. So what you do is you create a map. And of course, you know, maps don't have any special feature where they can have multiple values per key, but genericize it and now we're going to say that it's got a key and that key is associated not with just one value but with multiple values so now you can have one key but you can throw multiple values in there <clears throat> and watch this so i'm going to uh, um, create a, a new multi-value map for ford and then i'm going to throw the ford gt in there and then I'm going to throw the Ford Mustang Mach-E in there. And then I'm going to throw in the car that killed Canada's greatest hero, not Terry Fox, Tim Horton right there, the Ford Pantera. And if I wanted to, I could say system.out.println. And if I went in and I tried to gain access to that array list right there by using the key, Watch what happens if I run this code. Boom, GT, Mustang, Mach-E, and Pantera. So now I've created a collection class that allows me to have multiple values per key. I can have GT, Mustang, Pantera. Before, I could only have one. Remember, the Mustang, Mach-E overwrote the GT. Now, that's one way of doing it, but there's other approaches. One cool approach is to use Apache Commons. And I've got a little POM file here, and I've got this POM file because, well, I'm running a Maven project here inside of Eclipse, and I've added this dependency on org.apachecommons, common collections for specifically here. I've got some guava here too, but I'm going to deal with that later. Okay, so what happens when I use this Apache Commons? Well, I'm going to toggle out all of that code there toggle that and comment out that code let's see what happens when i try and use a little bit of this agua of this apache commons code see i shouldn't even have mentioned guava so what we have is we have this thing called a multi-map i'm gonna have to organize my import you can see it comes from that collections class there's actually a couple of different versions of this one this one's deprecated in the latest uh, edition of apache commons but you get the idea and what i can do here is i can throw in mustang mach e i don't have to create some crazy array i don't have to create a key mapping to an array with multiple values in it like I did up here. All I have to do is create this multi-value map class and I can put multiple elements in it. 
and watch what happens if I try and print out Ford. Life is good because when I run this code, it prints out all of the values that I put in there. Now, I'm going to comment that out and then I'm going to jump over to Guava and you can see this is deprecated there. So that's a little bit of a drag. Now, I do believe there's a class called the multi-value map in Apache Commons, which isn't deprecated, but uh, roll your own depending on which version of Apache Commons you're on. But let's take a look at the multi-map from Guava. Now, watch this. There's a very subtle difference between this one and the previous one. This multi-map, it is pronounced with a lowercase m, whereas the previous one was pronounced with an uppercase m very subtle difference in my accent when I say one and the other, but notice we don't get the punitive uh, message here saying that that is deprecated. But here I can go over to Ford, I can throw in that Mustang Mach-E, I can come over here, I can even put in the Pantera, and then at any point in time in the future, well I can just get the information back there. Look, I missed a semicolon, make sure you gotta have that. And I can just say, hey, I want all of those values that are associated with Ford, bring it back as a collection. I gotta do an import on that collection as well. Bring all of those, uh, all of those values associated with the key Ford back to me. And then I can just print it out, system.out.println values, and watch what happens here. Run as a Java application, and boom, I've got the Mustang Mach-E and the Pantera coming back to me. And so there you go. Those are a couple of interesting ways that you can approach the problem of Java not, in a lot, not allowing you to have multiple values per key in a map. And there you go, that's how easy it is to put multiple values per key in a Java map. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, enterprise software development, Spring, DevOps, you name it. Also, if you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.